morning guys welcome back to vlogmas day whatever also i don't want to hear anything i'm fully aware now that this is probably the fourth vlog that you're seeing in a row of me wearing this jumper i love it too much <laughs> it's just i look cute in it and i'm going somewhere festive and i wanted cute photos so i'm wearing it oh hello babe i'm saying hi to everyone Jump again. No. <laughs> we're off somewhere really fun today. It's gonna be another short and sweet vlog, uh, but we're gonna take you on a little journey. It is a lovely Sunday, and we thought we would just do something Christmassy. So we are going to a Christmas tree farm. Lily and I have never been to one. Um, if you can't tell, I'm an artificial girly, just because of how early I like to put it up. I've actually never had a real Christmas tree growing up. Like, I've never been that family that had that. Um, I've always been intrigued by it, uh, maybe one day. I am still convinced that I can get a real Christmas tree in this yeah. house somewhere. Um, I do feel like I could get one in the bedroom, but you can hear the protest there. Uh, but we're gonna go have some fun. Hopefully there'll be some more decorations we can pick up, etc, etc. But first we are going for a coffee run and this one is a very, very special coffee run because we are going to a new place opening up in Leeds um, that's quite near and dear to Man and Lee's heart. So we're gonna go to Chunk Bakery. I believe that's what they're called. All the information will be down below, but Junk is really special to us because I met these guys really a long, long time ago when they were just starting off with their vegan cookie business. And when Lee and I started our coffee shop, Miles & Co Coffee, if you're interested, all the info down below, add here because you know, that jazz. <laughs> but when we first started our business, I knew I wanted Chunk Cookie to be one of our suppliers. So they have been with us from like day one, literally first day opening, we had some Chunk Cookies ready and raring to go. And they have been massive supporters of us, of, <laughs> massive supporters of us when we started our business. Um, and yeah, they've grown exponentially. They've worked so hard that they have now purchased their own space and they're opening up their own bakery that's also gonna do coffee. Um, so of course, with this being like their silent open date, we had to go down and show support. And I was like, I'm bringing you guys along because I wanna show you some awesome places in Leeds where you can go and get independent coffee from uh, and support local independent businesses. So we're gonna go there for a pit stop and bringing Lafren mug so that I can have a coffee on the go. Probably gonna have two. Um, and Lee was like, are you gonna make some content for them? I was like, yeah, of course, I'm gonna make some content for them. Um, I'll probably do like a little mini uh, Instagram post on them. Um, hopefully the light gets better. It's apparently meant to rain all day, uh, which is annoying, um, but hopefully we'll get some nice light and I maybe can do like a little carousel for them just to say guys go here because their cookies are incredible they're vegan cookies first off oh the chocolate chip og is just like my fave but they are chunky new york ones they're my favorite cookie ever like yeah they they don't live in this house for a reason because i could probably eat like seven of them in one go they're absolutely beautiful um but yeah they're one of our favorite suppliers and yeah we're just we're proud of them as people we've been through the process of them i've been watching their like building series um of like going from like day one of like starting to get the shop ready and i'm like oh i remember where i was when we were starting to build up miles and co um which if you guys are interested um I do have like a whole three part series. I'll put the playlist in the description box below, but there's a whole three part series of us literally building Miles and Co from start to finish. Um, so do go check it out there if you are interested. Um, but yeah, like I'm seeing where she was and all the stuff and I was like, I feel you. Like we were there, I know exactly how she's feeling. They're talking about the nerves that they've got kind of like before I feel like we've been there, you will be fine. And like, it will be awesome. So really excited to go and support them. Anyway, I've been chatting long enough. I'm just waiting for the other half to grab everything. Um, so yeah, we are literally gonna go and get some coffee off to a Christmas tree farm. And then it's going to be a lazy Sunday of meetings, some editing, and we're gonna go for a, duh, a dog W later on. So just come and join us on a casual Sunday um, as we sort of just wind down the weekend and get ready for a working day. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit. You can't see it, but it is the jumper, leggings, and knee-high boots. I'm sure you'll be able to see the outfit in some photographs somewhere. Um, still got the Katie Loxon crossbody brown bag in tan, and I know I need to get a new bag, but I love this bag so much. It's just so good, like perfect size strap. I don't like ones where they have like the metal and the leather. I just want full, full leather strap. It's a nice camera size square bag. It just holds everything. I absolutely love it. I do realize I need a new tan bag, but 
for now this one will do until it starts to fall apart which it is looking like it's about to but we're going to ignore that for now um, and I've also got a Jules uh, bobble hat on which I really want to get a cream one because uh, this is grey and it's nice but go with the neutral outfit look anyway been rambling on let's pick you guys up let's go and get some coffee and yeah let's go to a Christmas tree farm <laughs> Okay, are you alright there? I think you're good there. So, we've just uh, left, um, got takeaway coffee, uh, well, takeaway hot chocolate. Lee? Yeah. What do you think? Spot on. Spot on. Like, they're, they're so nervous that they were like, when we came in, they were like, oh no, oh god, they're gonna trip. And I was like, this is amazing, it's fantastic in here. Like, it's such a good location. It's just like up the road from Kirksville Abbey, if that gives you an idea of where they're located. That carrot cake was one of the best carrot cakes I've had, and to consider that they're all vegan um, and oat milk comes a standard, yeah. like, incredible, incredible food, and right. yeah. Good people doing good stuff. Good people is. doing good stuff, and we just had a little chat. We are talking about possibly doing like a bit of like an owner's meetup um, for just people, like independent women, and I was saying like how, I've, I've always considered about doing some freelance work for, in social media management or like advice and consultation but I'd only want to work with female entrepreneurs like yeah, yeah but do am I niching myself with that idea no I mean like <laughs> not to not to say but like I just feel like a lot of men on male entrepreneurs get so much help anyway just by being men that like it makes I, me want to only work with I, women to help them have the leg up I think Women will want to work with, with, with people who like know know what they're doing. Because obviously, this is this is a, a luxury. Like spending money on something like social media. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like you you could just like post pictures and just yeah. have your best. But some people want to push that further. And you I don't know how. You want to work with people who like the people like behind it all are yeah. the ones who are like stressing out the event. Like, yeah. Knowing that we've gone for coffee and the people making the coffee. Yeah. Are people that are going to be worrying about, oh God, I'm, have, have I made enough money today? Have I done this? Yeah. Which we know too full and well from being literally in their shoes yeah. two years ago. So yeah, maybe I'll think about it. Maybe I will become a freelancer one day on social media. Anyway, I'm putting in um, Methley Estate. It is pouring down with rain if you can't tell by the, um, the windows. Um, so hopefully in the next 23 minutes, because apparently that's how long it's going to take us to drive. What? Yeah, it's not too far at all. Nice. Um, hopefully the rain will stop and I can enjoy my Christmas tree farm moment, but we shall see. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, Christmas tree. farm a while ago um and yeah i just had a little bit of a lunch of a baked camembert with a really nice like christmas sourdough actually should i just put my hair up yeah i'm just gonna ha get my hair up one sec oh lord yeah just give me two seconds guys <laughs> okay here we go so as i was saying we just got back we had some baked camembert well i had some baked camembert for my lunch because on a gloomy day like this like it's the perfect little treat just to cheer you up <laughs> and just be festive um and i make it with like a really nice scotch bonnet uh chili jam that we got from 217 i think the restaurant is when we went last year for lee's birthday um so it's nice a little chili a little bit of sea salt but pepper and some herbs and yeah it's just like the perfect little 
little treat with some really nice like Christmas sourdough from M&S. It was like cranberries, oranges and stuff like that in. Um, and it was really nice with the cheese, like just that kind of mixture of salty, sweet gooeyness. There we go. Right. That's a bit better when I've got the gilet on and desperately need it because it's really, really cold out there. Let me just grab a hat. I'm going to go this textured one. I believe this is from H&M and I want to get some more ones. I was saying at Chunk, like she's opening up the back of the store for some merch. So we might have to go and visit next week in another vlog because she has like a Chunk cookie uh, baseball cap. And I really wanted to, um, so I'm just pulling my ponytail down a little bit so it can sit in the hole. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to get a very small cap. Um, so she says she's going to sell them then. So I'm going to go and get one and then I can be representing and... Well, totally, I need a Miles & Co one, so <laughs> he needs to get me, get some merch made so we can have a Miles & Co baseball cap for the dog walks. There we go. This is a bit more me. So yeah, really, really fun time at the Christmas fire. Unfortunately, the camera cut off halfway through, so I didn't get as much footage, but it was hard to get you guys out when it was that rainy. Um, probably wasn't the best weekend to go and visit, but you know what? Even like with the rain, it was still beautiful um, and just kind of fun and festive. I think definitely we'll go kind of maybe more early on in the year. I think we could have got a Christmas tree. We just couldn't have decided um, like, what size to get I like them kind of like big and you know nice and he was like that won't fit in here so we'll never know who was right and who was wrong um but hopefully maybe this this next vlogmas will be in our own home and maybe we can have multiple trees who knows so that's kind of like the plan is to have like a tree in every room as much as possible um but yeah it was just nice wandering around saw some border collies and lost my mind um we got dash a little uh brussels sprout squeaky toy which is really really cute and he loves it um and yeah it was just quite a fun little kind of festive little tradition um and worth it there's a couple of christmas tree farms around here apparently there's a york christmas tree farm it's a bit further up north um and it apparently supplies the trees for Downing Street. So I was like, ooh, I'll have to go and check that out. Um, but just fun, and it was nice. Um, so yeah, I'm, we're heading on a dog walk. I'll take you guys as much as I can. And then pretty much like for the rest of today, it's just editing. I've got to start. I haven't even started today's Vlogmas of going out today, as in when I'm filming. Um, so I need to get that kind of done and stuff. And it's really funny actually. Um, it's worth kind of chatting to you guys because I would love some feedback in the comments about this. So I put up a quick poll on my community about like what would people like to see and I'm going to do a few more of these. So do check the community tab for sort of like some updates and quizzes on kind of like what content you want to see. I want to go more into sort of like where the channel is going in 2024 but I wanted to just get some ideas now to kind of help confirm or rearrange kind of what my thinking was. And really thickly I was, I was asking kind of like what frequency level would you like in terms of filming so at the moment i do it twice a week uh, twice a week twice every other week um and i normally go for a bit more of a longer content form but i have noticed sort of my shorter videos have been popular um over vlogmas so i sort of said well i can't do big massive videos every week would you guys be more interested in like weekly vlogs webisodes um whereby it's a bit shorter sometimes they'll be longer but sometimes they'll be shorter but you're getting a video every week and of course everyone voted for a video every week which i was a bit like oh, I shot myself in the foot there because part of me thinks like because i'm working full time it's hard to like film when you are like you know it's like i'm i'm afraid of the same thing it became a bit too mundane every week um but then i thought about perhaps like maybe what it could be as a challenge and sort of like my philosophy is elevated everyday living and one of the kind of goals I want to set myself in 2024 is romanticizing my life a bit more and becoming more of a main character um which sounds very egotistical but you know what <laughs> no one else is going to make that life for me but myself um and maybe that's the challenge is every week I um film a part of my life that I'm romanticizing more and sort of either feedback or give kind of like guidance on and it could be simple as like setting up for a date night like you know a little movie night in where you know you just get some fun containers to put popcorn in you dress the living room up it's just a little bit of fun for like a little date night situation that you know watching a film and stuff or it's like you know can you romanticize cleaning your home with like just a bit more kind of bougier products as such so I tend to go for ones that are like 
a bit more complex smells and stuff like pears and rosemary, eucalypt, uh, all that kind of stuff. So maybe that's kind of side of things. So obviously there may be a few kind of DIY home improvement things in the mix, um, but there's not many more rooms to do. So it's not going to be like a full on year of renovations and stuff, um, plus saving money. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm going to think about it, but if you've got some suggestions of what you think you want to see, if you're just honestly okay with seeing what I do when I potter around at the weekend and stuff, like go get nails done, dog walks, this, that and the other, like let me know, but I'm just afraid that it's going to become very seemly <laughs> for you guys. I'm actually going to change this jumper now because I'm feeling a bit like too many collars as such, um, but yeah, we're going to go put on the coat and then we're going to go for a a dog walk um get out <laughs> back out there in the rain but needs must when you have a dog so let's go Everyone is pretty much gone their separate ways in the house. The dog's next to me. Oh no, he's, he's realigning. He was next to me snoozing, he's decided to move. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lee's upstairs doing some work. I am just currently exporting today's Vlogmas um, that I'm trying to edit, which is Vlogmas Day 4. If you wanna know where I am realistically in the timeline, it's just failed to export. And I believe it's because of some corrupt audio, which I just removed, so. Hail Mary that it goes through because I don't want to redo it <laughs> and start again but it seems to be fine but yeah it's a nice short video um hopefully you guys will love it you'll have to let me know um but kind of like I was speaking out today it's like interesting about these kind of like short form videos performing really well so far um in vlogmas so maybe it's something we go forward with um but yeah i just gave you a bit of a behind the scenes of how i do stuff um just kind of lifting the veil on the magic of like how these things are created i personally use final cut pro i've had it for ages and i had like a i don't know if it still happens still but if you're into f um like video editing and want to test out stuff final cut pro had like a three month free trial when i first got it um, so by the time you kind of like the trial ends you're kind of in deep with like loving the program which is why I spent I think it's about 200 to get the um, full version of it I mean you get the full version when you're ready to know obviously you only get it for three months students I believe get it cheaper uh, but I personally love using Final Cut Pro I know some people like Premiere Rush and all that jazz um, 
but this one's my personal favourite. Um, so yeah, just kind of edited everything in there, had all my little kind of branded stuff that I've added on top and whatnot. And then I just quickly edited the photos that I took previously to create the thumbnail, create the thumbnail in some pre-made uh, Photoshop uh, files that I've done, um, which I've actually jazzed up for the new year. A lot of the branding's getting a little bit of a jazz up and I'm looking to maybe jazz up the blog and stuff. Um, kind of really reflecting a lot of content creation recently because obviously I've spoken about kind of increasing um, YouTube and stuff but I'm also wondering whether or not to bring back more personal stuff to the blog um, and although it's great creating stuff that is SEO friendly because that's brought a lot of traffic to the blog and I'm wondering whether or not I start putting banner ads up again it's just a form of passive um, income but also it's not passive because you've got to do the work to get people to come to the website and see the banners um i'm just wondering whether or not to bring back some personal essays and stuff like that um just a little bit more like bringing back what the blog originally um began as i know not many people read blogs anymore i still do i still love them you'll have to let me know where you like get all your kind of media from um but i still love them and I, I just because it's my OG I just can't give up my little corner of the internet which is why I will continue to always blog sorry it's just now oh it's moved it was stopped on 75% there and I was like move <laughs> and it seems to be slowing down so I'm like oh please don't <laughs> please work um but yeah I am currently half an hour over when I should have been posting um so it's fine these things you know you've got plenty of other things to watch before you get to me so it's absolutely fine um but yeah just kind of like doing so you know just kind of thinking a lot about content creation it's funny as well i mentioned here about the count being 155 subscribers off 2000 and now i'm at 1880 so 120 subscribers off um i wonder where i'll be when i film this after giving an update here as to where we are um but uh, yeah it's just kind of i'm gonna look at everything and like kind of assessing things for the new year um as to what i want to do and obviously this morning i was chatting about doing freelance social media management and whatnot um who knows i'm just having one of those moments where you know the world is my oyster um so yeah just having kind of think about things and really thinking about 2024 and planning things out and stuff i need to buy a new planner that's what i need to do i might do this after this or because it's only five o'clock i might just get the other one done for tuesday and then i'm like done for the week or I can play The Sims. <laughs> I have a, we have just got the new expansion pack out, which this will mean nothing to anybody other than if you're a simmer. Um, but obviously now we can do multiple properties on lots and stuff and I'm very excited. So I might have to do that. <laughs> I might have to play Sims tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, go I'm into it. I'm just into going off and gentrifying neighbourhoods and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's kind of me done for this evening. Once this gets going, it's slowing down again, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm kind of done for the evening. It's just now I'll kind of slowly wind down, work next week. It's a very busy day, week at work. I've got to go be travelling up north again and whatnot. Um, but yeah just kind of grooving into the week and then sort of the week after so when you are watching this i believe no yes no maybe no when does this come out sunday when are you watching me <laughs> i think this is sunday if this is sunday when you're watching me this is officially we're on the sunday into the climb into the last week of christmas which where the hell did that come from like where where was that um in any case um yeah big day is almost here so thank you so much guys for watching another mini vlogmas episode who knows how long this actually is it could be forever with the amount of times i've been chatting to you um but i do hope you have a lovely evening i do hope you have a lovely week looking forward if you're watching this on sunday <laughs> really should check my content calendar before i start talking um but have a lovely rest of your week guys have a lovely rest of your day i will see you guys very very soon and before you do any of that stuff and disappear like this video comment down below uh particularly comment any questions you want to ask me for a q and a i'm going to be filming a q and a oh you i would have already filmed the quick q and a when this comes out in any case ask me any questions and i will answer them i'm, I'm all up for it guys um but yeah just 
I think leave me a comment, subscribe, please subscribe. Two weeks to go to try and hit my little target, so much appreciated. So yeah, like, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. See you guys very, very soon. Bye.